Hey guys, what's up? We are back with some more unboxing in real life. And of course, today we're going to be opening the Grand Creators Booster Box. Now, I've never opened up a booster box before. I haven't even opened up that many packs over that many years. But the Adventure Engine, I think, is like my favorite thing to play around with, in Master Duel at least. So, I was like, I have to get this. Because it's not that expensive. It's weird that it's not that expensive uh, when it's, one, a decent engine plus punks were a good engine too right when they were out and then there's also the exosisters like why is it so cheap i don't understand we are opening up this though if you did not watch the last unboxing we did unbox this recently as well so we're gonna go check that out we're gonna spoil what we got out of that and also obviously we have the gloves on again just for just to be silly uh, as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get this plastic off and we'll be right back. All right, we got the plastic off though. Again, I've never opened one of these, so I don't know how to do this. And you have to pull this out and then tuck it in somehow like that. Oh, that's actually not that hard. That's easier than I thought it would be. Look at that glare. Can't really be helped. I am using a Logitech webcam from like 15 years ago and I'm not even joking, so... Uh, maybe I should just put a new camera up on my throne so we can do that. So I'm probably just going to move this off to the side and just open them one at a time. We can at least like, look at the packs before I do that. Nothing to really see there. Yeah, let's go over and skip to opening these one at a time. Alright, we're going to do pack one now, though. I haven't really... I usually struggle with these because they feel like... Okay, there we go. So that's not going to do anything. I don't know if there's like a technique here either for moving the cards around like there usually is with Pokemon. So we'll see what this looks like to start off with. And I'll adjust from there. We've got Exo Sister, Carpe D Dive. Carpe Divem. I'm trying to figure out where my focus is. I thought it was closer. Let me fix that. Right, there we go. We got. Exosister Carpe Divum, I guess. Also, obviously, all I care about is the adventure engine. I want to play a set of all the adventure engine stuff, but if we get Exosister stuff, that's cool too. Punk, that's fine as well. So, yeah. The in virtual world, Hime Nyan Nyan. Maybe we should get even closer. There we go, because all we care about is the. Hard, right? So yeah. Virtual World Hime Nyan Nyan. And Insector Dragonfly. I didn't realize Insectors were in here, but I think I did. So I think those are the four archetypes at least. You got Adventure, Exosister, Punk, and Insector, kind of. So that's kind of a whiff. And then it's like two from the back, I think. Or is there more after that? So Exo Sister, Irene. Oh, sweet. Psychic Tracker. This is also in here too, which is again another one of my favorites. So the Psychic Tracker and Welder, so that's pretty good. Well, there's a lot, so it's what? Two and then that, so it's four. Take four from the back and put them up front. So Solemn Strike, classic card, then Zaralom the Dark Palace. This is an adventure card for, uh, don't know. So at least we got one adventure card. Insectors fine too. Insectors are cool, but that's not what I'm here for. Alright, next pack. Alright, pack number two. I've already opened it. So that was like a four, right? Let's go with that. So we got Thunder Discharge, which is an adventure token thing. Who actually. Who is this? 
This is Thunder Discharge. And they're the one doing it, but this is an adventure card. I see all the ones down there. You can see some of the adventure people down there, but who is this? Doing that, yeah. Well, that's another adventure card. Insect imitation. Insector Exostag. Gaga Koo. Punk Wild Picking. Joruri Punk Nashi Wari Surprise. So, a lot of punk stuff here. I'm here for the adventure. Hit me with those adventures, please. Goki Pole. I didn't realize that was in here. Is it all the Goki stuff here, or is it just Goki Pole for no reason? And I think it's the last one. Nice. We got one of the adventure things. That's kind of unfortunate that it's an Ultra, because now it's fighting for the spot with the other cards, so that's not good. It's got Magic War Warrior of the Relics, which is like the worst out of the adventure guys, right? I also got a playset of Illegal Knight and the other one that's not in here, since they're not in here. But. So at least this is another one. So we got three adventure cards out of two packs. And one's an Ultra already. But again, that means we need three of these out of the Ultra slot, and then uh, three of the Water Girl, probably three of Air Monsieur and all that other stuff. Yeah, next pack, all right, pack three, and moving four to the front, we didn't see anything there, good Insector. Hornet. Another Exa Beetle. This is Exa Beetle. So an Insector Exa Beetle. Exo Sister Armor uh, Armament. Insector Hopper. I feel like I can already see now that we're probably not going to get a playset. I mean, you shouldn't be trying to get a playset of cards uh, out of a box. You should just be buying singles, but still. Castell the Sky Blaster Musketeer. This is one used to be a good card. I don't think anybody is going to be using this nowadays, but it used to be good. And this is the last one. Oh, no, not the last one. We got another uh, adventure card. This is this is the card that goes with the field spell we got earlier. Dunnel, the Noble Arms of Light. This is what combos with that field spell. Ian. Punk. I'll put that over there. Ju Jururi, Punk Madam Spider. I don't know if this is needed for the engine or not. I don't think I remember seeing this name, so I'd assume maybe not. Okay, there we go. Now for the next pack. Pack number four. Gen's already opened it. And four to the front. Oh, nice! Draco back right off the bat. So Draco back the Rideable Dragon. This is obviously a must in the Adventure Engine. You need this. I kind of like... I don't know what it's called. Papillon? I don't remember what it's called, but... That's a good card, too. 
And typically when I'm running the Adventure Engine Master Duel now at this point, I'm adding more cards than people would usually run, right? They would write like Air Monsieur, the two Water Mage, a Draco back, one Griffin, uh, the Fateful Adventure, whatever it's called, and that's it maybe. Like very minimal cards, but no, I'm in. Like Draco back, Dunnel, Poplio, one of the sealed spells for Poplio, possibly even the continuous spell that can let you just summon adventure tokens for discarding, I think. Ooh. Why is this out of nowhere? It says gold text. I'm guessing this is semi special. So out of nowhere, we got an Exo Sister, which is on the actual pack. Exo Sister Michaelis. So since this is special, let's read what it does. Cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster special summon from the graveyard. You can only use the following effects of Exo Sister Michaelis once per turn. If you control this card, that was exceed summon this turn by using an Exo Sister monster as a material quick effect. You can target one card your opponent controls, or in the graveyard banish it. You can only detach one material from this card. But you can detach one material from this card. Add an Exo Sister balance trap room deck to your hand. So it cannot be destroyed by any battle. Blah blah blah. So this only works this turn. So the turn you summon this is when you get the banish. You can't do it on your opponent's turn, I don't think. Unless you summon it on your opponent's turn, which I think you can with these guys, so. Yeah, so that is a hit, right? Ukiyo, Punk, Sharakusai. So Gagaku, again, Punk Crash Beat. Oh, actually, I think it's a different card. Punk Crash Beat. Dr. Sword, Zek Caliber. Ooh, nice, Emergency Teleport. I'll take that. Respell, the Star... Adjuster, I'll, and this is the last card, so maybe I just did that wrong, but it's pretty sure I put four from the back, but maybe not. Yeah, respell the star adjuster. Also, I don't know if you notice some of these, there's a line going through the card here. Some of the other ones have like had horizontal lines, so bad card quality there, but this is pretty old now, right? But yeah, look, you got that line that you can clearly see, like that's an oof. I like all these uh, Respell Sandbell cards. I don't know what story is being told there, but I do like that. Archetype? You can't even call it an archetype because they don't. There's not enough cards, but. It's like what, like nine cards, maybe? Well, not even nine cards, like four, five, six, maybe? That don't really do anything. Alright, next pack. Alright, for this fifth pack, I just. Uh, Opened it completely. So we got Ties of the Brethren. Also, you can see, I guess, where it, uh, the pack was clipped down to seal. It hit the card here. So, oof. Ties of the Brethren. Good card. And Zector Ladybug. Exo Sister Ellis. Okay, now it just doesn't know where it wants to put these cards. I guess three from the back? It's like it's changing, I swear. I'm doing the exact same thing and I'm beating different results. So Exo Sister Ellis, which I think is one of the main ones that you want, probably. I mean it is an ultra rare, right? This is an ultra rare, right? The when they're holographic like this. So what are the other ones? Yeah, none of the other ones are special. So I gotta figure out what the thing is again. So Hidden Armory. Meh. The Insector a Hornet again. This, the Starlit Papleon. That is an adventure card. And it's the good one. Or one of the good ones. I think this is good. 
is equipped to your adventure token and monsters your opponent controls lose a 500 for each card that it mentions adventure token so you can really debuff their cards with this and then Dun Dunnell does the opposite it buffs your adventure token by 500 for each adventure thing that you have on the board then arm recall okay this time I did two to the front because it I don't know what the thing is anymore. So Insector Centipede. Solomon Strike again. Jeruri Punk. Nashi Awari Surprise. Virtual World. Hime Nanyan. Exosister Stella. It's another Exosister. Because I have this so close to the camera again, you can see these like poor printing quality. There's a line there, I don't this line there, that's not supposed to be there. Another Exosister. Again, I'm fine with that. So this is again this was two to the front. See, I was I've been doing four. And it's like, yeah, that's fine. And now all of a sudden it's like, no, that's not right. But yeah, another respell, the Star Jester. In Torrential Tribute, which is pretty good. So I went three to the front this time. We got Psychic Welder. Great. Would like a playset of these. Welder and Wielder. A Wielder and what are the other ones called? Armory Call. Charakusai. Another. Castile. Castel. I've never seen this card this close up. I didn't mention it before, but I didn't realize that's what he looked like. Like, I didn't realize it, it is just a Birdman. You never see these cards this close. Goki Pole. In the video games, at least, is what I'm talking about. Oof. Wandering Griffin Rider. We got one. Now if we can just get another one. I don't think we need to play a set. I think it's fine just to have two. Also, who is that? Right here. Is that any part of the adventure token? Who is that? Who is that? And when they're getting added, why are they having these characters on these cards who aren't even part of the engine? Can I get these cards, please? Now? I mean, it looks like a for hire, but I don't know if that's actually what that is. The Wandering Griffin Rider, which is just an Omni Negate. When you have an adventure token on the field, it shuffles itself back into the uh, deck and negates whatever your opponent does. Whatever you want it to negate. But oof, nice. Okay, that was three to the front so yeah i'm going to go back to going four and also select a tracker at the end so tracker and wielder we have two trackers one wielder so we're getting close to getting a place out of that okay this was four to the front so i don't know exector exa beetle exorcist irene wait was she always just uh i think so yeah, that's fine. Exorcist Irene. Exorcist Armament. Insector Centipede. Another Dunnel. Two Dunnels. Noble Arms of Light. Even though you kind of just want one of each, honestly, if you're going to make like a efficient deck. Ties with Brethren, again. And... XC Universe. Target two face up exceed monsters on the field. Send both monsters to the grave and the specimen one exceed monster from your extra deck except a number monster, which ranks equal to or one less than the combined original ranks of those two exceed monsters. And if you do attach this card to it as material, also for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, your opponent takes no damage. Meh. That's fine. Alright, next. I think this is nine. 
Right, that's four to the back again. I haven't seen any of the mage. Just kind of a problem. Thunder Discharge, that is a, another adventure card. Oh wait, I gotta make sure that I put all the adventure stuff together. So yeah, Thunder Discharge. Insect Imitation. Starlight, Starlight Papillon. Is that good? Insector Exostag. Ukiyo-e Punk Rising Carp. Exosir, Carpe Divum. I keep assuming it's going to be Carpe Diem, but I don't think that. It's not Carpe Diem, it's Carpe Divum? Question mark. And this is the last one. We got Gagaku Punk Wagon. I don't even know if this, this guy is a uh, card that's a part of the deck. I think Foxy Tune's the one you want, right? So all these other ones that are ultras, like nobody cares about, I think. Right, 10th pack. Man, it sucks that we have not seen the Water Mage. I don't even know if that's a limited card in the actual TCG. It's limited in limited to two in Master Duel. I don't know how many it is in uh, real life. Force of the Lost Flower. So again, another field spell for adventure. Armory or hidden armory. Ooh, Exo Sister. Caspatel. I appreciate all the Exo Sister stuff. I'm gonna have to go through all that later and see what we've. We have like a playable deck out of that. Insector Hopper. You know what we don't have is a playable adventure deck. Insector Ladybug. Insector Sword. Zex Caliber. And I'm assuming this is the last one. Exo Sister Vadis. Vadis. So what does this do? Pay on pay 800 life points. Choose one exorcist monster from your deck. Then take one other exorcist monster from your deck that is mentioned on that monster and special summon both. I shuffle them into the deck during the end phase. Doesn't matter. So for the rest of the turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck except with exorcisters. You can only use this effect once per turn. So assuming you can use this to summon the one that can banish, then you can summon that on your opponent's turn and banish something. So that's how you get that off. I knew there was some way that you could do that. Right, pack 11, and we are nowhere near having what we need for an adventure engine, as you would expect from opening up a booster box. Do not do this. Buy singles, even though even singles can be expensive. Also, good hit right off the bat. We got Psychic Welder. Great. Another Irene. Another Wild Picking. Another Dark Palace. Ooh, exactly what I wanted to see. Another Emergency Teleport. I don't know if this is limited to two, semi-limited or not. It's semi-limited in Master Duel. I don't know what it is in real life. Sector Ladybug and... Sector Pico Falena. So, if this card is Link Summoned, you can discard one card, then target one other insect monster you control. Equip one insect monster from your deck to it as an equip spell. This card gains this effect. The equipped monster gains 500 attack and defense. Target three insect monsters in your graveyard, shuffle them to the deck, then draw one. Okay. It's fine. Probably something you do want in the deck, but. Nothing crazy. Alright. Pack 12, that is half the box, and we have not gotten. any uh, of the adventure, proper adventure stuff. We don't have the mage, we don't have uh, faithful adventure, we don't have right of Aram Seer. So, kind of an oof so far. Insector Exabiel. Oh, speaking of right of Aram Seer, I, I swear to god this was four to the back. 
So I guess if it's a golden special like this, I mean, it's not a special, it's like a golden ultra like this, then however you organize the pack does not matter. So we got one, right of Air Monsieur. Control no adventure token, special summon one adventure token, which is a 2000 2000. Then, if you do not control a fateful adventure, you place one fateful adventure from your deck face up in your spell and trap zone. You cannot activate the effects of monsters on the field. The turn you activate this card, except special summon monsters, you can only activate one right of Air Monsieur per turn. So, oof, we got one. Halfway through the pack, can we get a second? And since that kind of just did that, we can see we didn't really get anything else, but... Insector Exostag. The Wild Picking. Ties of the Brethren, we have a playset of that now. Rising Carp and a Thunder Discharge. We have a playset of that, I believe, now. Right, pack 13. This is the start of the second half. Again. Four to the front. But sometimes it will just be in front of that. Insector Hornet. Tracker, we have place it a tracker now, nice. Place it a Starlight Starlit Palpleon now as well. Sharkusai. Probably have a place it of that. Place it of emergency teleport, assuming it's not semi-limited or limited. Zector Sword, Zex Caliber. And Exosister Osfail. Osfail? Osfail? Cannot be destroyed by activated effects of monsters. Special summon from the graveyard. From the graveyard specifically, not the extra deck. You can only use the, each of the following effects of Exosister Asfel. Asfel. Once per turn, if this card is XC summon using the Exosister monster as material, neither player can activate card effects in the graveyard this turn. Catch one card, one material from this card, then target one monster your opponent controls, return to the hand. So, that, uh, again, can be used on your, you have to summon it on your opponent's turn for that, basically. This is 14, right? Alright, let's go four to the front. To rent your tribute. Insect imitation. Insector centipede. Exosister. Caspatel. Exosister. Carpe divem. Devem, maybe? Carpe divem. Cookie pole in this lap. 6-6. Six, six. What is it going to be? Punk. I think maybe this is one of the ones you want in your deck. No punk Zay Amin. So just does punk things. I think maybe you want one of these. I'm not sure. I just know Foxy Tune's one of them. That's all I remember. And we have not hit Foxy Tune, so oof. Forest of Lost Flowers. I don't know if we have more than a place out of this now. Respell, the Star Adjuster. Exosister, Armament, or Armament, we definitely have a place to that. Crash Beat. Castell, definitely have a place to this dude, probably, and... Oh, just Dunnel. We have a place to this for sure now. And... Exosister, Gibreen. How many... Ultra Exo Sisters are there. So. Gabrine, Gabrine. Cannot be destroyed by the activated effects of Monster Special Summon from the graveyard. Can we use each of the following effects of Exo Sister Gabrine? Gabrine, once per turn, if you control this card that was Exceed Summoned this turn by using an Exo Sister Monster as material, a quick effect you can target one effect monster your opponent controls and negate his effects until the end of the turn. Catch one material from this card the rest of the turn, all XE monsters you control gain 800. It was okay, it's not like the best one. That's weird that it got an ultra, but. Sure. Can I do 16, 17? I'm not sure. 
Uh, Draco back right off the bat is good, but it's been a while since we've seen anything. We're still missing another Griffin, which we don't ne technically need. We're missing the Mage. We're missing Fateful Adventure. So yeah, we're kind of oofing here. Insect Imitation. Another Dark Palace. Insector Hopper. The Virtual Hime Nanan. Pokepole. And. Oof. Jorui Punk Dangerous Gabu. Sure. But oof. I don't know how many we have left. Let's see. I'll do this. We have eight left. I need another Rite of Embers here. I need the Mage to begin with. I need some luck, please. Okay, I basically have lost count, so let's just... This is pack whatever. Respell the Star Jester. Another Draco back. Nice. The Police at Event. Crash Beat. Armory Call. Rising Carp. Insector Ladybug. Exorcist Vadis again. I mean, I feel like psh, we're just getting like all the Exorcist stuff, so we're getting close to just having an Exorcist deck or engine, whatever. Right, pack who knows? We're on Exorcist Arena again, which that's a place set, I think. So great on that part. Since again, like, if I can, we're not hitting adventure that often, so well, the ones that matter. We don't have the major, the faithful adventure, or Right every machine. So if we get a play of this, that's fine. So another Irene, place it up Irene. Thunder Discharge, I think we have. Place it at that already. Solemn Strike. Crash Beat. Sex Caliber. Kashiwari Surprise. And Walk on again. Alright, pack who knows. Another torrential tribute, definitely have a place out of that. Hidden armory. Exo sister Caspatel. We might almost have a place out of her. Wild picking. Another not Carpe Diem. Fennel, which if we didn't have a place out, we do now. And come on, right of Air Monsieur, Faithful Adventure. The Mage, who I don't know why I can't remember her name. Oof. Another one of her. I mean, again, getting more playsets of the Exorcist stuff is fine. So that's okay. See, another one of the Gibrin. Because it seems like that's what we're heading, just to get a playset of all the Exos instead of Adventure. Wait, hold on. Before we go to the next one, look at this cut. I didn't even look at that because I'm not normally looking at that. Look at the cut on this card. By cut, I mean, you see how thin this black line is compared to how thick this black line is right here? Like, oof. That is rough. All right, pack again. Who knows? Psychic Tracker. If we didn't have a playset, we probably do now. Oh, we. this is the pack that has a golden tech, so it, it comes wherever it wants to. Zek Trike Cole. This card is always treated as an Exactor card. Send one other Exactor card from your hand or face up to the field to the graveyard, then activate one of these effects. Choose one Exactor monster from your deck and either special element or equip it with one Exactor monster you control. Put one Exactor equip spell from your deck to one Exactor monster you control. You can only activate one of these cards per turn, so that is probably a card you definitely need in the Exactor deck if you're running that. Tedric, Zach, Trike, Koo. And then the. Sharkusai, another Dark Palace, a fourth Sky Blaster, which is not focusing. Ooh, Emergency Teleport. If we didn't have a place that now we do, and I think we did, so that's four teleports. This guy again, like I said, and then Force. 
This one's again, pack who knows. So I'm wondering what the hit rate on those golden Tex cards is. Those golden, like, Tex Ultras. Like, are those the highest rarity cards in the set, or what? Zector Axe Beetle. Zector Hornet. Armory Call. Just going through it. Zector Hopper. Virtual World He May Nyan Nyan. And. Zector Ladybug. And now Series and. Exosister Alice. I don't know if we got one of her before. But Exosister Alice. You control an Exosister monster, you can special summon this card from your hand, then if you control Exo Stella, you gain 800. If your opponent move 800 life points. If your opponent moves a card out of either graveyard except during damage step, you can special summon from your extra deck one Exosister Exe monster using this face-up card you control as material. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. So this can just force an Exe summon on your opponent's turn if she's out. If they play around with the graveyard. Alright, next pack. Another Wilder. And we do have two Stella. No, no, two Stella. We have two Ellis now. We only have one Stella, so that's kind of like hurting our chances with finishing the Exo Sister stuff. So we kind of just want Exo Sister stuff at this point. Since well, there's not a pack. This is pack uh, 21. No, this is pack 22. This is pack 22. So there's only two more packs after this. There's no way to get a decent adventure token engine out of this at this point, so. It's like a welder. It's like a tracker back to back. Exosister Armament. Zector Centipede. Another Castell. Another Emergency Teleport. And Exceed Universe. Probably the worst card in the pack. Unless I'm not understanding it right. Alright, so we got pack 23. Hidden Armory, Thunder Discharge, I don't know if there's been any uh, adventure stuff over here, and Starlet, Papillon, Zector Exostag, Pokepult, Dunnel, and Zector Dragonfly, oof. Was this like the first one we pulled was a Dragonfly, and now we got a second Dragonfly? Alright, last pack, so give me luck, but no matter what we get, it doesn't really matter. So. Maybe I can open up another one of these boxes. So, Insect Invitation, Free Spell of Star Adjuster, Column Strike, so it's not a gold tech, so it's probably not a Rider Air here or the Mage in here. Starlit Paplion, Nashiwari, surprise. Rising Carp in the last card that we will be getting is let it be an Exo Sister so we can just have like more of a playset. Yes. Exo Sister Asphail. I don't know if I read this one. Not be destroyed by the activated effects of monsters special summoned from the graveyard. You can only use each of the following effects of Exo Sister as Fossil as Sofell. Once apparently this card is Exceed Summoned using Exos. Neither player can activate card effects in the graveyard this turn. Attach one material from this card, then target one monster opponent controls, return to the hand. Oof. And not bad. Yeah, oof on the adventure. We came here for adventure, we didn't get it. But we got a lot of Exo Sister stuff. And we'll be going over that in a second. Alright, so we're just going over all the shinies at the end. So we got a playset of all of the adventure stuff except the stuff that matters. The mage. Another two of these guys, and of course, two of the Amishiers. So, oof there, and then of course, Griffin, but Griffin is okay at one. Also, look at that cut. Is it wider on the right than it is on the left? There we go. Spell. Dragonfly. Universe, that's gonna be times two. Then two Ellis, which I have them lined up here back to back. The Ko. Wagon, Debrin, Badis, 
Dangerous Gabu, Gabrine again, Zay Amen. Oh, we didn't get any Foxy Tunes or any. Like, the Punks didn't really show up that much at all, honestly. Like, the ones that matter. Let's fell again. Pico Fallen, Fallena, Buddies. This, though. The Michaelis. Michaelis. That's a hit. But we did hit the Air Monsieur, so that technically counts too. Stella. The universe again. Walk on. Madam Spider. And then the dragonfly that we got at the beginning. I guess potentially the best hit was the Exosister, right? The Gold Tex Exosister. I'm not sure how these cards work. Where the heck is that? There it is. So yeah, again, we came for the adventure, and we did not find it. Okay, maybe I should open up another another one of these. Maybe I'll put one of these boxes on the throne. Maybe you can help me out. We'll go uh, donate for that, so we can open up another one and hopefully get adventure. I actually I bought this one, like with my money. So this wasn't given to me. I bought this. So if you want to see more of this, maybe go to my throne and donate there to get more of this. I'll try to see if I can get like somewhere cheap that can add the grand creators the grand creators to my throne or you can just donate to me on youtube there is a donate button i'm pretty sure or become a member hey guys thanks for watching remember to buy my stickers and think of becoming a member subscribe and subscribe people are going to watch them and subscribers and if we can be a throne now as well and shout out to the members and if you stay a member for six months you get access to the Discord, as long as you are 18 or over, or if you say a member for 12 months, you get a free 3D model commissioned by me every year. That is, so every year that you are a member, you get a free 3D model commissioned by me. Again, if you want to see more of this, think about donating so I can open up more of these. Because I do, but the gambling, the gambling addiction has kicked in, and I want to keep opening this box. So, oof. But if you want to help with that, donate on YouTube or. But added it to my throne, you could just straight up just buy it and send it to me on the throne. But guys, thanks for watching. Tune to the next episode. Like, share, comment. If I do, see ya.